must be stopped. What is happening guys, it's me the Antronis Nexus. Back here with a part 3 of the ongoing Transformers Devastation just playthrough. Uh, I've tried this once before already this morning on a live stream, but there was no audio, so you're getting this pre-recorded. Uh, to watch your own leisure, you've seen this game a thousand times over. It's a fun little button masher, and we're on chapter two, the Proud Star, and we're gonna go with the crazy scientist, glowy eared prick that is Wheeljack. Uh, so we've just had Megatron off in part one, and uh, now he's gone into this underground bunker, which is now known as the Proud Star. Where do we access the Kiko? A sentry bot has been deployed, which will transfer the key code to the nearest Cybertronium if it is destroyed. Its location is highlighted on your map. Wheeljack incoming! Blowing is incoming! So yeah, we are uh, one of the, probably one of the fan favorites, which is Wheeljack. Uh, he's not too, he's actually not too bad of a bot in, in this game. They all have quite a moderate speed of themselves, apart from Grimlock, who's as slow as hell and as clumsy as you expect. And I've just gone through all them lucky fences. Oh, and that's the wrong weapon. So yeah, we're gonna play, we're gonna play through this again. You've you caught me on the live stream this morning. There was no audio. Uh, so we're rolling out it again and you can catch uh, regular upload I'm gonna get try and get this game completed what exactly is the proud star? another time old friend for now let us stay on task yeah so I'm gonna also be quiet Jordan cutscenes because I like to listen to them as well even though if I listen to them a thousand times over there's always something else I can pick up so if you've not played Devastation, where have you been? What rock have you been sleeping under? It's been out for a couple of years. It's a great little button masher. Uh, and also adds more to the sort of whole Transformers mythos. And let's get on to the subject of what is the Proud Star. The Proud Star within this game is the sort of first ship of Nova Prime. Uh, he'll appear at some point within the game. Spoils alert, way I've just given the whole ending out. Um, but yeah, Nova Prime obviously took the Proud Star in search of sort of preserving and expanding the Cybertronian race. Now, if you're familiar with IDW comics, you will know that the pra uh, Nova Prime is sort of enters into the Dark Universe, or at least discovers the Dark Universe. Uh, and the ship he went on was notoriously known as the Ark One or the first ship to be known as Ark. Whether the Proud Star ever bleeded into that universe or they sort of went, well, he named it, you know, Ark was just a class, is something to be um, sort of translated through to the fans. But Proud Star, Terra Star, yes, if you say, I've mentioned Terra Star, uh, because I was considered, I always say Terra Star, and that's me going back to the robotics era of the 80s, remember that cartoon? Um, and yeah, so we are plowing through this one. Let's go. So this episode, obviously, um, we're now trying to get into Megatron, or we're now trying to gain access to the uh, the Proud Star. And we're going to get little bits and bobs as we go along the way. I'm trying to make this too confusing for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below <laughs> comment on me game playing if it's shite uh, it shouldn't be because i'm on easy mode because <laughs> uh, obviously i just wanted to um play through it really so i played this game dozens of times um it's enjoyable just a nice little thing the animation's brilliant why couldn't he have done mishima done like a cell shaded version with titan's return sort of took this angle with it i think it would have got a lot more a like applause for it, but then again, we are talking about Mishima. Have you all have you all watched the Power of the Prime series one, the, sw the Swamp or Swarm, whatever it is? Yeah. <laughs> expectations, expectations, eh? Cone heads a hoy, and he's just been blown. I got nest for that. Yeah, I didn't even get that in my exams. 
So it was the end of the round, the City of Steel. Um, obviously that name coming from the original episode uh, from the Transformers. Where are we? Oh, I totally came differently. Wait, those beams are on speed. Was. Um, so yeah, City of Steel, one of my worst fucking episodes of all time. It is just a whole shitstorm of crapness. Uh, but this episode, I kind of just fill in for it. This is what happens. Forget the alligators, come please. That Megatron doesn't understand it any more than we do. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. So there you go, Megatron rushing in things as always. Just sees the uh, opportunity of power. So we're gonna just, I'm just gonna get a few of these, just to uh, test out his wheels, just in case. And that one had me off, and that was basically saying, let's go. Straight into, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting milked to death. But Wheeljack's car mode, let's slow it right down. I love Wheeljack's car mode. I think he's a, it was always one of the best ones in Generation 1. Uh, obviously not the Lancia to Turbo, but it does take the back of it, which is the Turbo. Uh, he's got his more Generations toy mode, which is a very nice evolution. Transform him. Swift. I love the transformation. Again, it's Wheeljack all over with the Generation 1 and Generations Toy Blended, which is a really nice combo. So let's get cracking. I'm going to make these sweet and short. Uh, hopefully around 20 minutes long. Oh, here we go. Sentry Bot. Sub Boss! Okay, let's see if we can just blow it. Oh, it's running. Come here! No one runs away from Wheeljack. Boom. That was swift. That was like Cannonball Run on steads. So. Tartar. Of course. Curiosity killed the fucking cat, didn't it? Slow mo! But barriers stop you. Shoot the thing, and I'm going the wrong way. So, did you like this game? Did you not like this game? If everyone had a shield, it'd be virtually fucking impossible and annoying. But with the power of, see, I love the combos. With the power of obviously just transforming and uppercutting, it works a charm. Oh, something's tingling in Weird Jack's ears. It's the Insecticons. Please no. So the Insecticons actually of uh, one of the huge sort of like armies within this game and within Generation 1 although I, th I would say they're virtually misunderstood or, un or uninterpreted as just sort of cannon fodder which is true um, but I think a few of the games have tried to highlight the relevance of the uh, Insecticon Origins uh, Warp Side Con game had that and we'll get on to that later on in you know in different se gameplay series but the insecticons obviously all feed from their primary sort of dominant um hub if you will that being kickback shrapnel and bombshell uh, and their conscious can be transferred into any of the clones that you see uh, within this obviously the fair attacks has been linked to also mind controlling the Insecticons, which is, an, an, again, a nice little turn on the whole mythology thing. So let's go down the elevator into the Proud Star, since this chapter is called the Proud Star. And there's a big cutscene here. Autobots, welcome to the Proud Star, the great ship of Nova Prime. It can't be! You mean an Autobot ship is responsible for all the destruction in the city? It appears so, Wheeljack. But I doubt it was an Autobot hand that caused the destruction. Another Cybertronian ship crashed on Earth? What are the odds? Nova Prime's mission was to preserve our culture. 
The Colonnade of Cybertron was a covenant between all Cybertronians. The Colonnade is comprised of the essential aspects of our lost Cybertronian heritage, and it was placed inside the Pharaoh Taxis, the supercomputer that controls the Proud Star. The Pharaoh Taxis literally carries our culture inside of it. What an historical find that would be. So much art and beauty and history has been lost to find it again. The Pharaoh Taxis controls both the Plasma Core and the Insecticons. It directs the power and gives the Insecticons their function and purpose. Okay, so we find the Pharaoh Taxis and what? Destroy it? It's got so much of our culture in it. We can't do that, can we? No, we can't. We find the Plasma Core and shut it down. Shutting down the power is the most surefire way to stop the cyber forming. Then we locate the Pharaoh Taxis and preserve our culture as Nova Prime intended. But for now, stay focused. There are more floors to this ship. We split up and locate the plasma core. <sighs> Investigate the proud star. Oh, just mention Nova Prime. I still want me toys. Hyper Nova, I believe it is. Um, of Nova Prime. Yes, please. I may pick that up at this year's TF Nation. Bugs, lots of bugs. No uh, way. Yeah, so I might try and pick them up at uh, this year's TF Nation if there is one. If you can come a bit of a rarity, and I've just hit the wall. Yeah, the way he just jumped off that. Felt like the Matrix itself just blink off and then back on. There is a darkness here, something that has permeated this place. And the Cybertronians who lived here. We will deal with it later, we must. Wow. I'm in a <laughs> so again, I like that sort of little codex thing that we do in this game. And uh, again, the voice actors are all the original actors. Greg Berger, Michael Bell, uh, Dan Gilberson, Peter Cullen. Uh, not too sure Wheeljack. Who done Wheeljack? But again, it's what bumps this game up into like, you know, one of the good game Transformer games. So, before we start our adventures in the Proud Star, I am going to end it there for part 3. You can catch me in part 4 straight after this. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all again very soon.